The Philippine Army is actively improving its capabilities, especially regarding its own varying divisions that may come with new military hardware. There will be an additional 8 Bell 412 EPI combat utility helicopters that will be acquired for this project. In Horizon 1, 2015, the Philippine government also acquired 8 units of Bell 412 combat utility helicopters, which are a proven platform for the Philippine Air Force. The additional Bell 412 will work with its bigger cousin, the S-70I Black Hawk helicopter, proving that the Philippine Air Force also aims to have multiple platforms in its helicopter fleet to provide redundancy and flexibility. The DBM has released the sorrow for the acquisition of additional utility helicopters, Bell 412, for the Philippine Air Force, with initial funding worth PHP 958,892,963.00 released today, August 3, 2023. This amount represents 15% of the total contract cost, which is to be used as initial funding. This confirms that the project will be paid via multi-year contractual allocations, MICA, following milestones. As we mentioned before, the PAF is looking to acquire 8 Bell 412s to supplant its current fleet of 5 Bell 412EP combat utility helicopters operated by the PAF's 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing as its alternate CUH variant after the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk. The Bell 412s are smaller and cheaper than the S-70I Black Hawk and they are also cheaper to sustain. They can be used for missions that do not require the size and power of the Black Hawks, which will allow the PAF to save on operating costs in the long run. Before being cancelled by former President Rodrigo Duterte during his administration, the DND was previously finalizing the acquisition of the Bell 412 EPI variant which is a more advanced variant of the PAF's Bell 412 EP. Upon checking with sources, it was confirmed that this project is considered part of the second list of Horizon 2 of the RAFPMP rather than the current Horizon 3, whose shopping list has not yet been approved by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. The additional Bell 412 will work with its bigger cousin, the S-70I Black Hawk helicopter, proving that the Philippine Air Force also aims to have multiple platforms in its helicopter fleet to provide redundancy and flexibility. That the remaining W-3A Sokols acquired during the Gloria Arroyo administration might be relegated to search and rescue missions as some of their units are already utilized for that purpose. Currently, the Bell 412 is utilized not only for combat utility purposes and human assistance disaster response needs but also for VIP transport sorties. The DND, through its BAC-2 report as of July 2023, has confirmed that the Philippine Air Force's additional utility helicopter, Bell 412 acquisition project is now in advanced stages and is just awaiting the release of funds from the Department of Budget and Management for it to be able to award the project. This project was actually first introduced in 2020 as part of the second list of the Horizon 2 phase, but failed to reach advanced stages by the time Horizon 2 ended and was pushed back to the Horizon 3 phase. It involves the acquisition of eight Bell 412 helicopters to beef up the current fleet of the PAF. They will be the second main combat utility helicopter of the PAF, act as an alternative model, and provide the PAF with helicopters in case the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk CUH are grounded for safety or other reasons. While it was specific to Bell 412s, it remains to be seen if it will consider models based on the Bell 412 model, like the Subaru A2, which is actually a Japanese-made variant of the Bell 412 EPX. Once delivered, the PAF will have 13 Bell 412s as combat utility helicopters, 
In addition to the three Bell 412 EP VIP helicopters acquired during Horizon 1 and the five older Bell 412 EP and 412 HP VIP helicopters acquired during the Ramos administration back in the 1990s.